Hi, we're here at the uh, Italian National Celebration Day at Casa Loma, standing here with the Mayor of Vaughan, Mauricio Pivolacla. Perfect. Thank you so much. A pleasure to see you once again. You're doing a great job getting you know, the message out and all sorts of events and uh, very interesting interviews, so I really appreciate that. And I obviously appreciate being interviewed uh, by you on this very special day for the Italian uh, community. The Italian-Canadian community, as you know, in my city represents 42% of the population. Uh, they're holding this event here at Casa Loma in Toronto, and uh, it's a great gathering place to celebrate all the great contributions that uh, Italians have made uh, for centuries. Uh, it's great to also see a, a community that is very united, uh, that uh, appreciates uh, precisely the journey that has uh, taken them here and the contribution they've made here in uh, in Canada. Uh, as you know, there are uh, new Canadians coming from all over the world, and uh, this community has been a great bridge uh, for for the new Canadians to to begin to appreciate and understand uh, Canadian society because we never forget. Uh, how um, challenging it could have been at times, uh, but uh, we, we came to a very open country. There's no question about the fact that there were some challenges, uh, but, but nevertheless, uh, a very welcoming country, uh, a country that recognized that at the end of the day, uh, it's very important to achieve uh, its potential by making sure uh, that the human resources potential uh, is, is maximized. And so whether you look at the social, cultural, uh, political, economic contribution of, of the Italian community, or for that matter, many other communities that now uh, have made uh, Canada uh, their home, uh, I can tell you that this country is richer as a, as a result of that. We, we find uh, strength in our diversity, and, uh, and that to me is, is fundamental as, as we move uh, uh, forward as a, as a country, because today we do truly live in a global village, and Canada is the, the manifestation of that new reality. I know we're celebrating our 150th birthday here in Canada. I did an interview with Enrico Colantoni. He was pointing out to me that in the United States of America, you know, the Italian immigration into there was around the 1900s, where in Canada, it didn't, the major surge coming from Italy over to Canada didn't happen until the 50s. So we have to remember an awful lot of, you know, people that are growing up in the Italian community with 800,000 in Ontario alone. Italian community, a lot of them are their grandparents or parents came over from Italy to Canada. Yes, and uh, you know it is a very. You're saying basically it's a lot very large community, very large presence, uh, a community that uh, has found its way. You know, it's that you you, you know we, to appreciate this, uh, I guess one would have to begin to wonder what it would feel to go and live in Europe, for example, or Africa, or Australia, or or other countries. And, by the way, going to Australia would speak English, so it would be very easy for you. But, if you were to go to Europe uh, and try to, to embrace that culture, it, it becomes challenging. But people here, because of the welcoming nature of, uh, of uh, our society, people feel, feel at home and feel welcomed. And that to me is a great tribute to, to our country as we celebrate 150 years. Uh, Canada 150 is truly a celebration of diversity, of compassion, of understanding, of the that to me are the hallmarks of Canadian citizenship. We're loving uh, uh, people that nurture, that are very nurturing, uh, that uh, that are compassionate, that uh, that have, uh, exercise mutual respect and admiration for for everyone, and that to me is how you how you build a great uh, a great country. I know it's a sort of leadership style I give my my community. I think that you know in a community where 99 different languages are spoken, you do the very best you can uh, to make that every everybody feel comfortable and at home. And uh, in large part, uh, we've been successful in that. Any major, you know, celebration in regards to, you know, this, this month is Italian Heritage Month. You got any celebrations coming over in Vaughan in regards to that? Yeah, we just did the flag raising. Uh, we're going to do a Heritage uh, Day as well. In uh, <laughs> We did a, um, uh, we're going to be doing something at, uh, at the Veneto Center in, uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, but as I can tell you, there are so many uh, clubs uh, throughout the city that even have their own events. Uh, and as you know, we are the convention slash banquet center of the world. We have more more banquet halls in Vaughan per capita than probably any other place in the world. And in those banquet halls, in those convention centers, people get together. And the Italian community, particularly in June, is very active. So they they celebrate their origins, but they also they celebrate their faith. They celebrate uh, uh, they celebrate so many great things. Their art, their uh, 
the architecture, the, the food, uh, as you know, uh, we're known for our culinary arts. Uh, and there are so many, so many events uh, to, uh, to, to attend to that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's incredible. It's an incredible, vibrant, dynamic community. Well, thank you so much for your time there, Mayor. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.